Welcome back to the UNO Learning Academy. In today's session, we are going to do a assembly series. In this episode, we look at our KS8700. So guys, the three components included here is our table and stand, flat pack. In this instance, we have a clutch motor and our headers inside the box. So you're going to need some tools. I brought my toolkit along and there we go. We don't need everything in the box, so I'll sort out what we need and let's get our machine assembled. So guys, you need something to work on. I've already built one stand. I'm going to put our table that we're going to build now on top. Let's open up our box. Guys, here we have the pieces. So guys, these come in two pieces. Put the longer edge and the longer edge. Let them be on the same side of, let's say, your left leg. Um, guys, look here. There's our two bolts. They're all M8s. Put your back plate over there. Turn your bolts through and secure it in that way. There's one over there and then there is one over here. And I just normally let it lay at the lowest position and that will give us a fair height. This can obviously be adjusted according to your needs and your height. So I've got some of our tools here. I'm gonna bring our full set of tools out. I've got, a, um, I've got a ratchet here with a 14 on it and just tighten that up guys, right? And then we've got that tight, we've got that at that height, you can just leave it like that and then we are going to put our second one together. Put our second one together, same, long side, long side together, put our backing plate behind there, right? There's a right way and a wrong way. Put our backing plate there, take another one of our bolts and tighten it up. Okay, so there we've got our two, our left and our right. I am just going to put this across my table like that for now. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring in my back brace. I have my King Star label right side down because this will be the bottom of the bottom of my frame once I'm done. And bolt inside. There's one, two, three, four. Bolt inside, and there is a threaded nut on the inside here. So those those there's a threaded nut inside there. Those all just turn into here. Once you've done this, then we do the other side. Same over here. Okay, once we've done that, I'm going to flip it up. I'm going to fit the bottom brace. So that's the top and that's the bottom. Okay, this will go over there. Here we have a plate. This plate will go inside. So put this inside, okay? Slide it like that underneath and get the holes lined up. And, and look across here. And then we have another one on this side. Okay. Plate inside, slide it down, slide it down, and bolt. So keep this distance here, this distance here, and this distance here, more or less. So have a look, have a look at our stand. We've got our stand assembled together. 
and then now I'm going to position the stand. I'm going to position the stand where I think more or less it needs to be on the table. So guys, I like to say, let's make this our stand. The distance on this side and the distance on that side of the table, more or less the same. Okay? And the same with the distance on that side. Anchor, anchor, anchor. Once you've got this bolt in, once you've got this bolt in, I like to put that one in first. That's in the corner next to our cotton stand. Then we can gauge this as the correct distance. And that distance we use with that distance. So to keep that distance and that distance the same. And then equally this distance and that distance the same. Okay, so I've taken our bit, I'm going to give our hole a start, okay, and I'm going to make a bit of a hole over here, and then put one of our screws in, okay, we've got four hood screws, remember I said that distance and this distance is the same, so I can put one in here at one end, okay. So I like to work in the angle of one, two, three. Use our star point screwdriver and put our screw in. So guys, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change, I'm gonna take the drill bit out and I'm gonna put in our posi drive, our star point posi drive. And Okay, these feet, these feet belongs in there. So I like to turn them right in. That will give you your height right around. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we have an option. We have, perhaps you bought it with a clutch motor, perhaps you bought it with an energy saving motor. Okay, so we're gonna use the clutch motor for this model. Um, like I said, the fitting for the energy saving motor is exactly the same. In this instance, I'm gonna use the clutch saving mo motor. You will see there are three bolts. They line up with your three mounting areas over there. Okay, they also, they get the shock absorber rubber. That's just to take the vibration out of your, between your metal and your wood. There are your three rubbers. We can just take our hammer and put them back on. Take our hammer, give them a tap on. Then guys, you know, I like to throw my bolts in my drawer. I don't lose it that way. So through the one hole, through the one hole, big flat washer, little spring washer, and our nut. If you look over here, we want that pulley to be in the middle over there. Okay, sometimes it's nice if you just take a chain, you want to be high precision, drop your chain down there, and remember it's in the middle when the motor's engaged. In the middle when the motor's engaged. Okay, make sure it's kind of straight down over there. Take our 14 spanner and tighten up the bolts. Guys, I don't like to over tighten over here. It's a rubber shop absorber. Tighten all three. 
You don't, you don't want to put too much pressure on there. It's unnecessary. Okay? That's secured. Okay, the next thing we want to do is fit our pedal. So we've got two legs over here. We've got two legs like that. And they will fit onto our bottom plate over here. Okay? So guys, what's important here? What's important is the middle, the middle of our pedal wants to be under the needle. We know the needle is going to be here, okay? So we're going to put the middle of our pedal, more or less, you don't have to be 100% perfect with our two brackets, and we're going to put it over there, okay? So our valve in, it's got the washer and the spring washer on it, and tighten up, okay? And then put our pedal against there, I've left it just hand tight, and I'm going to put the next one in, so, as you will see, there's one person doing this job. There's one person doing this job. We don't need um, two people. It's, it's great for this if you get some help. Help is always nice. Many hands make light work. And if your bolt is spinning on the other side, use a second spanner. And we just hold it like that. We just hold it like that and we tighten it up. Same on this side. So what's important here is this needs to be free. Okay? Don't get it stuck between the two lugs. It needs to be free. Okay? Okay, so now what we want to do, we want to fit our saddle. Okay, this is our pitman rod. Guys, we don't want the skew. We don't want the skew. We want it as perpendicular as possible. Let's take that off. Put this one here first. Just hand tight. Then I can see, I can see that more or less I want that straight over here. Okay. We provide it with a couple of bolts again, put the lug on, I'm going to use those two holes and I can, I can adjust this slightly to make it straight, okay? So look at the angle of the pedal. It's not, it's not at 180 degrees. I've got it at about 150, 120 degrees, okay? That's, that's for the angle of your foot. Once I've got that angle, I can tighten up this over here. Once that is tightened, I can change over my sizes. So guys, tighten these over here. Now that I've got that nice and perpendicular, I got my angle correct. I'm going to tighten these nuts, nuts up here on my serial rod. I'm going to give that all a nip. That's all tight. I am going to tighten that one as well as. I'm, I'm going to secure that one. I'm going to give that a nip. I've locked everything into place. I'm going to make sure I have secured these over here. Those are secure. Okay, and we've got our pitman rod on. Don't forget that angle we want over there. A thread rod or a pitman, really. Now we're gonna fit our drawer. Let's throw the last of our screws out. And our drawer, we have a groove here. These are our two runners that the draws in, the groove there. Turn the drawer upside down. I like that space and that space more or less the same. Place that to the front of the drawer. Put it in there to the front. We have our little screws. Okay. 
Okay, at the rose fetid. So the last thing we want to do while it's upside down, we've thrown our cable to the back, is we're going to fit our switch box. So guys, keep it off the edge of the table, okay? We don't want anything hanging over the edge. Nothing hangs over the edge of the table. Um, over the, the years and as you go on, it's just going to get damaged. So keep it hanging off the edge. So we keep the distance straight and we put the other screw in as well. As. Okay, so we got that straight. We kept it off the edge of the table. We've got our cables. We're just going to knock them down into place. Remember, we will have a belt running down here later. So we don't want anything to touch our belt. Okay guys, so what's important here, you will see I've got nothing hanging over the edges. Nothing hanging anywhere around the table. This is the perimeter of my machine. Nothing hangs over the side except the wire. Nothing. The switch is behind. The stand is behind. So your important things to remember is the shorter piece, the longer piece. The longer piece matches up with the longer piece. Remember those are two separate pieces. Guys, my switch box is not hanging over the edge. It's nice and straight. This is nice and straight. This distance and this distance is the same. My draw distance distance is the same. I've got my saddle rod that's nice and perpendicular. I've got my, my pedal at an angle where it's comfortable for my foot and I don't have it stuck over there. If you feel a bit of tightness, you can tighten up this screw a little bit. That's your clutch screw. You can tighten up there a little bit and we're ready. We're ready now. You will see that my clutch will return immediately to its position. Uh, my feet is all on. My stand is straight. This distance and this distance is the same. And I can then turn it over. I can turn it over to have right side up. I've got everything in place underneath. I'm done with everything underneath. I haven't worked upside down. Guys, now I'm going to get my head out and I'm going to start assembling my head. Now we're going to unpack our head, our KS8700. We've opened up our box. Check what's inside. Let's get all our accessories out. We've got our accessories. We've got our catalog and cover. We've got our oil. We look inside the box, take the foam out. Belt cover, cotton stand, belt, knee lifter, bobbin winder, mounting rubbers and pins, hinge pins, hand wheel, and oil sump, and part of our accessories. Up there. Let's uh, carry on with our assembly. We've turned our machine around. Guys, here's our oil sum. Um, the oil sum come, goes with the screw on this side. Knee lifter pin at the back. That's what's important. Okay. Right side up is knee lifter to the bottom. We drop our sump in there. Let's go and find all our mounting rubbers. There's all our mounting rubbers. These two will fit in the back over there. These two will fit in the front over here. These corners will fit at the back over there and over there. And in front here we said is our other rubber. Okay. So those are all your rubbers and shock absorbers in place. Those are two hinge pins. We're going to leave that for later. Let's go underneath the machine and fit our knee lifter. So have a look at this guys. 
we have a knuckle here. The one side of the knuckle fits Look at that angle and look at this angle, okay? We can set this height according to your knee, okay? We can leave that like that. And on top here, Throw all our loose pieces inside here, and that's our knee lifter pin. So when we push our knee lifter, the pin will go up and down, okay? Now we're going to fetch our head. We're going to fetch our head, bring it up to the table. It's a bit heavy. Put the hinge pin in the hole there, and the hinge pin in the hole there. That is right side up. and. Put your head in on top, get those two flush, get that flush, and that's all nice and suited. We're going to now fit our hand wheel onto the machine. Then we're going to tighten the screw. Remember guys, you saw there, it's on the flat. It's on the flat. One screw will be off the flat, one screw will be on the flat, and that's our screw for our front. That's going to hold our hand wheel onto the shaft, and it's also going to help avoid any leaks out of the machine. So I've used my little screwdriver for those purposes. I'm going to make sure we are locked up, hold the hand wheel, make sure we are locked up, and make sure we are locked up. So we have our, our hand wheel on, we can now fit our belt, we normally use a size 41 inch, and this will go from the hand wheel down through the belt slot, over the pulley. Guys, you can loosen the adjusting bolts here as you need. You can loosen them a bit. You can then move the motor up and down. You can put it into place. So the law says one inch of movement over here, okay? And lock these up again. Don't forget to lock them. Then the next thing we want to do is we're going to fit our bobbin winder. So when we fit our bobbin winder, the most important thing is the distance between the little pulley, the little pulley and the belt, so that when you engage this, it will start driving. So keep that distance at about five, six millimeters. Okay, line up this distance straight over here, so that your bobbin winder is straight, meaning it's running straight on the wheel. Make sure your 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 bobbin winder wheel is not on the side, not on the side, not miss anywhere, in the middle there, in the middle, okay? And then we'll find, when we engage it, it will push against the belt. When it kicks out, there will be a distance between the two over there. Engage it and kick it out. Okay? Our next thing we want to fit is our cotton stand. 
a cotton stand. Here we have a two-way cotton stand. We have two, two ways where the eyelets is on the top, where there's no eyelets is at the bottom. Let's add the belt cover set to the machine. Here's the, um, let's move to the belt cover. So this cover will go at the back here. There's three covers that you want to install now. This cover will go at the back. That nothing here now needs to touch the belt, please. So don't touch the belt in any way. Keep away just to the back over there. Then we want to fit our cover on our motor. So again here, when you fit it on, just keep the belt itself open so that it can drive. Okay. 
So watch out for this gap here on either side. You don't want the belt cover to be touching there. You've got your belt nice set. That's on the motor cover. And we've got our cover all covered over here. Our hand wheel free. Everything on the inside. Guys, um, once we've got the belt covers fitted, you can switch the machine on. So switch the machine on. And remember this machine needs to run anti-clockwise. If you are going the wrong way, you've got a switch at the back here to go clockwise or counterclockwise. So if at any stage you just switch the switch right over to the left or right over to the right, never in the middle. Never, never, never in the middle. Your motor will burn out. And remember your machine needs to run anti-clockwise. There's the arrow over there. It's running anti-clockwise. Let's look at the work. Let's look at the work, and we're running the work backwise, anti-clockwise. Never leave that switch in the middle. And guys, our last, last step that we want to talk about is don't forget to put your oil in the machine. So, tilt the machine backwards. Tilt the machine back. Put your oil in your machine. Make sure your, your plug is closed. You've got a high and low level over there. So, put your oil inside the machine. Your accessory pack includes your cover, your instruction manual, your set of needle and bobbins and screwdrivers. Okay, we're going to put that back inside. That will fit under the table where it was. And there we go. And guys, remember you can also log into our demo series, our threading series, our accessory series. And please watch this space for our academic and practical online and in-person upcoming courses. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey on our video channel. Please hit the subscribe and the like buttons below on the UNO Learning Academy's YouTube channel and continue to grow and sow into the industry's technology and future. Thank you.